eyes of perfection and why am I playing now that it's 6 a.m.? Because I've been working on eyes of perfection. I can color configure the eyes. Took me a while, but I seem to have gotten a good position. Plus switch back to the baby doll eyes. The first time I oh, I don't know why they 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 make Solus's eyes brown though. So anyway, so I need to talk to Spirit. Whatever, I'm bully. I guess you can get scared or something. Talking to spirit. Uh, now are you gonna talk to Bruna me? Bruna should be here. Where did she get to? Cousin Runa. She's off north climbing the hills instead of helping with the catch again. Good day to you. Conveniently looking a brown black instead of uh, white and uh, whatever. The lady uh, of back is witness to our. Yeah. lived in the base. Stone bare holes been yeah. here a few generations. I was born further Eyes, north, but we left like before color. I could remember. It was a good life, until the jaws of Hacken arrived. They brought trouble with them. People are expecting a raid, but... You don't agree? They seem bigger fools than that, for all they're boasting. I cannot say what they plan. Thane Sunhair gave me guest welcome at Stone Bear Hold. Aye, she sent word. As a guest, then, may I please borrow your boat? We would be poor hosts to refuse. The boat is yours. I hope you come back alive. Anybody else smell sea air? That spice. That's... That isn't right. The spirits gathered here were drawn to tragedy. They radiated, as fire does heat. Glad I asked. A Meredith. A Meredith. Hi. many spirits to this place, I wonder. You? Uh. 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 
hell was that? That was seriously a ghost in the machine. There was no sub battle for it. This rift is ancient. It may have formed from the battle that took place here, not the breach.
Anyway. the murderer's gold on hard. <laughs> shields on it. Good. I was wondering before it. Every single bow had Templar shield on it. Apparently not that of ours. It's got them to not yet. Up, up and away. Speak with Professor. Oh. work here. Everybody else does. Cole still has that hat on. UK. 
can wear some other weird hat. No, nobody can wear hats. any sense. Other items I couldn't collect. What do scales have to do with it? Okay, now can I, uh, let's see, who should I use to talk? Because it totally focused all the way really close. I don't know, maybe just standing back. May I help you, Inquisitor? Um, see, okay, that's not what I want. Hold on. I'll speak with you later. May I help you, Inquisitor? on the island held the memories and possessions of a Meriden's lover, a woman named Talana. It told us that a Meriden was here on orders from Emperor Draken himself, and where he went next. On Drosti's dimples? I may have received tenure from that sentence alone. A Meriden had a lover. Talana, you said. The Inquisitor's Lady Mage. There was such debate over whether she existed. And there were orders? This was a request from Draken? This changes everything. Yeah, spirits don't bother you? You don't have a problem receiving information from spirits. It's not ideal, but since you found corroborating physical evidence, I see no serious issues. Any study of great wars and battlefields carries an inherent risk of contact with demons or spirits. When spirits are willing to talk, most historians love the chance of a first-hand report. You were surprised to hear that Ameridan had a lover? Yes. This Talana you mentioned. Her existence has been hotly debated. Some scholars took Inquisitor Meriden's respect for the Chantry to imply that he remained celibate. In ages past, there were stories about him and his lover, a mage. They made it out to be a star-crossed romance. The Chantry silenced the stories strenuously. Chantry wants everybody to be celibate. What is so stupid? God can people have sex and make babies. What does it change, knowing that Ameridan was on a mission from Emperor Draken? Everything. One current theory holds that Ameridan was selfishly throwing off his responsibilities to go hunting. Another suggests Draken had him removed or even killed because Ameridan opposed the Navaran Accord. But if this is true, then Ameridan was a loyal servant of Orlais. He was not an embarrassment. He was a patriot protecting Orlais while Draken fought in the Second Blight. At the very least, we've found something to work with. The spirit said to follow the river to the north, and something about spires or spikes. Hmm. Up the river, um... The scouts have had trouble with Hakonites up there. I'll continue my research, but for now, your guess is as good as mine. I'll speak with you later.
May I help you, Inquisitor? I'd like to discuss Inquisitor Emerit. Of course, your predecessor. Existing historical records are contentious. Some say he was a devout Andrastian. Others suggest he cared little for religion, gaining leadership of the Seekers through Emperor Draken's friendship. He disappeared around the time the Seekers of Truth, the original Inquisition, incorporated into the newfound Chantry. Historians assumed he retired to go dragon hunting. Our new information should shake up academic circles profoundly. I'll speak with you later. May I help you, Inquisitor? How were you assigned to the Inquisition? I study primarily the early Chantry, particularly around the signing of the Navarran Accord. That was why I transferred to the University of Orlais, closer to the source than Starkhaven. Sadly, most scholars took Inquisitor Emeridan's history as settled, even with so many questions remaining. No one took my ideas seriously until your Inquisition formed. I wrote Ambassador Montelier, and, well, here we are. What's it like at the University of Orlais? Oh, it's brilliant. Some of the greatest minds I've ever known. Now, the university was always well regarded, but Empress Selene made it the envy of all theaters. She even got them to start admitting elves. A few bent noses, but it's worth it. Knowledge knows no bounds and all. With that unpleasantness with Grand Duke Gaspard done, the university is safe as a haven for knowledge. I take it you're not from Orlais originally. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Starkhaven. Fourth son of Lord and Lady Kenry, destined for Chantry service. Fortunately, I convinced them the university might be a fashionable alternative. I'll speak with you later. Oh, that they found some kind of paintings tarot type things in Skyhold behind the throne if you phase out of the room somehow one of them's the lovers and reminds people of Flemeth and her betraying husband or I'm on staff of pro oh, hello. Oh, it's you. Oh, colored hair. Hello. Inquisitor. Baron Ava Pierre 
d'un mot des hommes. I've come to consult with your soldiers on matters pertaining to natural threat. The beasts of these woods are fierce, and I fear they've already claimed the life of my dear devoted scribe. What are you doing out here? Once I was content to remain in the safety of my estate. Then, with the passing of my uncle, I was obliged to join an expedition to the stranger parts of Thedas. How little of our natural world is understood. What terrors creep across the soil while we lie ignorant and ill-prepared. If you knew what I do of the common fennec, you would not sleep. From that day onward, I have studied the wilds and the beasts therein. Are my soldiers running into problems? They face delays establishing camps due to pests of various nature. Uh, I offer to consider the matter. There is an herb mixture. Correctly placed, it could ward beasts away from their supplies. I would not presume to further involve myself in your organization's military affairs. Perhaps I might entrust these to you. Military affairs to place the... I should go. Monster bait, whatever. <laughs> Even Phoenix. If you knew about the common Phoenix, you'd be scared, huh? Supposed to be a dragon, but I don't exactly see a image of a dragon. It's a, a, a bunch of lumps. Alright, not forget. To... It's not the one that says Razakali, is it? The slavers speak to their gods in the cave passage. They call it the mouth of echoes. They light fires and feed them with green spruce and shout their questions into the deep. They say answers come to them on last whispered echo superstition. We laughed and now Razakali is silent and madness descends. I can only think, what if? There are regularities in the veil here. What if we could secure the Avar cave and bend it? To our purposes? Slaves are gathering materials. We will build a shrine to the dragon of mystery. Implant foci into the walls. Cut sacred designs into the stone the better to hear her with. We will hear her voice again or we will die. Scribbled in blood red ink. place where they planted foci in the walls. Anyway, as far as what is any of this supposed to look like a dragon exactly? It's um uh whatever. 
Where are these foci in the wall exactly? And what do we have here? A memory. Faint inscription. If this be our last together, let it end in laughter. Where are these foci in the wall? installed the remove dust build up at what cost from an age journal it still tastes strange no matter several water stained pages follow before the text resumes have we traveled through lands more remote than these we must have yet it has never felt so removed from life back home as I do now Oh, these are the travelers. T makes the same arguments as always. Talana says, Lack of demons has a point in her favor. Lack is an absence. Which I'm quick to point out. She called me pithy. There are demons here, though not as many as we faced in those early years together. The Avar have their mages too. The last were ill prepared for me. I wonder if the part that that part that bothers her. Oh, as always, was no help at all. Oh, being the dwarf woman, I think. We push on. My head aches. The others are singing the song we learned at the lakeside town. I forgot the name of the place. I think my eyes are about to explode. Of course, a. Uh, Meriden has noticed then tells the others he needs to read something. It's quiet now. The journey here took longer than expected. I must take stock of the rations after sleep. There were more than expected. Everything has been more than expected. A few moments later and O would not be standing here. I was able to subdue the mage before things became worse. T said nothing about it afterwards. She knows O would have died. At what cost? T asked me that once. I said it costs nothing, but I don't know. I met him at it fought longer than I, but his mind had faded with age. And he would not answer. The point remains that I can do more. I can be more effective. We've all seen the demons, what they did. We've seen what some would do with blood. The better question is, who pays the cost if no one takes this chance and no one said it had to be forever just until things are settled if you count eight times will the number change O asked she's been watching me these last few days whatever she says to the contrary damned blue bottles I did not plan this journey as well as I should this is a Templar talking about stopping blood mages? I don't know. I lay trying to find constellations through the leaves. T brought me some water. She just smiled, and there was no admonishment behind it. It made me feel somewhat better, as always. A cooked our dinner while well, depending on my own ability to produce something edible. O oh, attempts to tell jokes. Maker, they're pathetic. Why do they make me laugh anyway? Long days behind. I fear there are fewer ahead. Whatever cost I've paid, they will be worth it. It doesn't matter that this night, safe before a fire, the three of them singing that stupid song, I am content. I do not know what this story goes on. Um, Exactly. Yes, At what cost is he doing what exactly? Thank you. 
taking a lot of lyrium and trying to do something. I forgot what it determined that they were. I was trying to find foci. Position soldiers, are you lending a hand?
almost says the word sometimes. Kato. He tastes it in his mouth. Sweet release, a breath away. Tongue tying it tenderly, like you tie him. But he doesn't for you and for him, because it makes it mean more. A fuller feeling, a brighter burst. Yeah. <clears throat> How does he feel about you saying this in front of everybody? <laughs> if a rift opened up right now and swallowed me, I'd be fine with that. Provided it tied you down first, one assumes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So <laughs> the rift tied you down first. Oh my gosh. Alright, how many people know of that? What? <laughs> um. Solos wants to be dominated. What he did there? <laughs> Wait, I don't have the MMR installed, so that mean they're getting mad. They're they're the um, jealous fighting. So I sound pretty pissed with that kind of talk. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, well it didn't hit me so I don't know what it's gonna be. Lieutenant Farrow, sir. We've beaten back those Hakonite bastards. My men and I will hold here. The Hakonites along the river still pose a threat. After this last battle, we need time to fortify and regroup. What's the situation along the river? Between the Hakonites and the wildlife, this isn't the easiest place to maintain a presence. The river's the best way for the Inquisition to send supplies from Skyhold. Or it would be if we could travel safely along it. The Hakonites set up camps near the banks, and they attack anyone who gets within view. That will be all, Lieutenant. Sir. So anyway, now that I got it loaded and all, my mods are working fine. After, you have to start the thing with trespassers. People like to see the intro scene, but it just doesn't... Uh, there are mods if you use Frosty. If I ever figure out how to use Frosty. So 
anyway in order to get the intro scene. Otherwise, you can go into Trespass. Now, there isn't nearly the amount of mods that you can load, but I did have. Although I kind of tried overload mods on Trespass, where I basically just gave myself air and won't let you. They all have to be shiny faces. We can edit some complexion, but it still has to be shiny. That's a humongous red flower. people. That's bad. Wear big black glasses and some hair that Spiders, aren't you? Just can you leave me alone? Pride is speedier. in the hinterlands. Is that a baby? 
kid. Or tap, tap, and club. What are those boys? I'll give them that.
fewer Hakonite assholes around here. So, Cole, I was talking with the servants back at Skyhold. None of them can remember you. They're scared of me. Strange boy, doesn't move right. Magic, mage, monster. It's better for them to forget. Why do you let us remember, then? Sarah's at least as freaked out by you as the servants. If she forgot me, she might hit me by mistake in a fight. Hmm. That'd be really disappointing for her. She's got her heart set on hitting you on purpose. Looks so good. Okay. Tell me your story. Oh. There. Tell me your story. Did you see Scout Grandin on your way back? He should be on watch, but he's gone. Grandin was a good friend of Jace Turbot, but one of the researchers. He was killed by Hakonites. I'm starting to worry that Grandin's gone and done something stupid. He was supposed to send word back when he reached his station, but nothing. Keep an eye out for him, please. For me. I helped our soldiers defend against a Hakonite raid. That's a relief. We've lost enough men to them. I thought we could catch up. Any time, Inquisitor. We'll continue this another time. Goodbye, then. Inquisitor. I'm all right, thanks. The Hakonites were pushed back from the river. That will put minds at ease, sir. I'll arrange patrols for the area. It's no Imperial Highway, but we'll see people along as safely as we can. That will be all, Lieutenant. Sir. I get the shiny power picture. The 
There must be something here. Herb wards. Those could assist the soldiers. I take it you've met Baron de Mortizan? And you are? Done it, your worship. The master's scribe. De Mortizan said you were dead. <sighs> I'm merely late, sir. I was not to return until I'd gathered evidence on the Nox Mortar. You're gathering evidence on a... The Nox Mortar. I was to set out apparatus for gathering information on the beast. Retrieving it proved difficult. Gurguts. If you're out here anyway, Your Worship, I can inform you that the Baron's pockets are deep. He would no doubt appreciate any efforts made on his behalf. What is the Nox Mortar exactly? A skulking beast the Master believes lies somewhere in the basin. That's not very specific. I'm afraid specificity eludes us, sir. Officially, the beast remains undiscovered and unwitnessed. How did you get involved in all this? I've been the Master's scribe these past ten years. The Baron has made a study of a number of creatures. I'm assured my assistance is invaluable. should be going. Very good, sir. There. It seems to be working. Orders for Grandin. Looks like he survived the fight with the Hakonites. Won't get far on his own, though. These were Hakonites. That dagger has the Inquisition seal. Fair bet our missing scout came this way.
More dead Hakan warriors. Too much, too sharp. Something's wrong. something up. Lightning on the notes.
revolt from a wrathful God, which God is always going to matter dispute. Oh God, such a venter as the target being the last lost city of fear and door to a jester made a particularly heinous pun. Each of the old gods that the venter has been credited. <laughs> 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 Get to this camp. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, I landed. Huh. Without it telling me I went out of bounds. I was sure that one at least didn't tell me I was out of bounds. It actually hurt me. Somebody better be killing them, because I'm not coming back down. Vassard was angry. He went first because he wanted to fight. Taking point, then points take him, red on his neck. I was just thinking about... Wait, you in my mind again, kid? Even if you went in first, there would have been another fight. Another time he didn't listen. It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. I was in charge. Should have found a way to... Hey, that's pretty good. We could use that. You can use sadness? Ben Hasrath, kid. We can use anything.
Inquisition soldier. Grandin? No, he's different. He's cold nose. Inquisitor, I've abandoned my post, haven't I? I had cause, just missing the permission part. Harding told us about your friend, Jace. He was studying at the university. Those hack-on bastards. Jace wasn't a soldier, he wasn't even armed. After this, he was going to show me Val Royaux. I've never been. I thought we might... I can't let this happen. Fighting your way through the jaws of Hakon. Alone. <laughs> I wasn't a soldier either, not before this. I lived in the circle. Never had the skill for combat spells, so I picked up a sword. I wanted to fight for the Inquisition. The jaws of Hakon almost ended that, too. I was bleeding out when it saw me. It knows what I know. They will not kill more people. Not like Jace. I will protect them, Inquisitor. And then, will you stop, or will the rage take you? Is that a question mark? No, because it says you can leave. What? Isn't a question mark first, though? Walking out of here, demon. If you stop me, then I cannot stop them. I won't allow it. Oh, he's a 
approved Sandra. Form the family of the death, if not the details. Yes. I have considered what you said about Lord Seeker Lambert, Cole. If it's true, then perhaps he deserved to die. Though it need not have been you who killed him. He would have hurt people. It is not that simple. Why not? He made Templars see monsters instead of mages, made them push until it all fell down. We thought Lambert was assassinated. It made the rebellion worse, and many people were killed. But not by him. No, I cannot have guests, lowlanders, even those who don't hail from the hold. Who are you? And why are you out here? If I tell you, will you leave me be? I am Sigrid Gullsdotten, Augur's apprentice. I exiled myself from Stonebear Hold. You exiled yourself? Aye, I did. And my tongue will say no more on that. Right. Yeah, nothing happens with just first. So uh, wondering about Cassandra disapproving of such thing. Why are all these soldiers up here now? And disapproves of her quest, but not that. She tells you go away. Um, hello. Standing in the shard. <laughs> why are there so many soldiers? I mean, a lot. Hanging out at this girl's house. Come on, isn't that a little... bit crazy? Can be done by here. I don't know. I spent two hours again, too. Oh, report to Harding. Wait. Why it didn't show approval? Or I didn't think it showed approval? Very last thing I can find for her approval, and then I guess it doesn't matter if I go to the Temple of uh, Pride and Rod because you must have made a great impression on the Avar. Some of them paid us a friendly visit. A couple even helped repair our fortifications, and one woman brought us a barrel of fermented fish. Kenrick ate some. To be polite, he said. Well, he was a very polite shade of green. I have news about Scout Grandin. Maker, don't tell me. He's dead, isn't he? Yes. 
He is dead. Another one, gone. Just like that. You never get used to it, do you? Maker. <laughs> I'll miss him. The boy was great company. Terrible jokes, but that was a part of his charm. You know? I should go. Safe travels. Repair does not work here. If the mod works, I have it installed anyway. Hello again. Whatever. Your eyes properly brown again? Do you have any advice for me? We must keep an eye on the College of Clerics. The moment they elect a divine, things could change quickly. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Thank you for watching part two of Jaws of Hackon. But I have to upload. Stop. Thank you. Good day or night if you're on the other side of the world. Thank you.